Whether you've seen it at a party or a more somber affair, the iconic hangman's noose is hard to forget. It looks deceptively complex, yet learning to tie this knot is easy. All you'll need is a length of rope. One side will be the length end, and we'll call the other side where you'll tie the knot the working end. Create an S-shape of three parallel segments and be sure to leave plenty of extra rope on your working end. Now, take the working end of the rope and wrap it around the three segments. This forms the first turn of the noose. Repeat this step, tightening the noose with each turn. Traditionally, hangmen use 13 turns, but you'll be fine so long as you use a minimum of 7. At this point, you'll have two loops protruding from both the length end and the working end of the rope. You'll also have a little leftover rope. Simply thread this last length of rope through the loop and you're ready to tighten your noose. Pulling one side of the working end loop will widen the noose and pulling the other side will tighten the knot. Adjust as you see fit, then tighten and... There it is, you've just made the hangman's noose. Now, keep in mind that this knot does have uses outside of executions. For example, it's also been used to create a weight at the ends of ropes, or a prop for plays and costumes. As a gentleman, it's your duty to keep the audience informed and at ease. And, perhaps most importantly, it's vital to make sure that you only use this knot in appropriate and law-abiding ways.